is 4,500 wooden logs. In real time, we calculate the physics of each log, how each one of them is pushing the other one, and how it applies force to know the exact location of each one of them. Now, let's try to have the train, and I heard there was a rumor that the train has ultrabooks on it, which is a good reason to try to hijack the train. So, how about blowing the bridge? Yeah, so let's try. I don't know, I always, you know, it's like a city. Well, I'm gonna hit it. Okay, let's hit it here. And see what's happened to each one of the logs that I need to, come to calculate the location real time. One, two, three. Ultrabooks flying, you know, that's definitely, that, that was a good reason to, yeah, no, don't laugh, I'll tell you where to laugh, you already disappointed me before. Okay. There's a piece of bridge staying over here. The important thing I'm trying to show is not only the base for a game for Havoc, but the fact that actual real time, we, let me move away, yeah, real time, we can calculate the location of each one of these pieces, and we do it real time. For that, you need the real compute power, and I'm waiting to see some of my competition trying to do these things. By the way, after you kill the bridge, you can continue to shoot it. It's fine. So, really, you know, I'll leave it. By the way, you still see the ultra books. What's happening if I shoot it? No, I'll never shoot an ultra book. Okay. So this is one thing that although I show you a bridge in kind of a game, the reality is that what I try to show is the huge performance that you can do and you can see how much compute power you need, and you see that it continues to calculate the position of each one of the logs, even if it's not moving, and you take 50% of, of sandy bridge, sorry, that's a lot of compute power.